Brooklyn Independent Television. Things are heating up in the pool between Brooklyn Tech and Fort Hamilton High School. If you thought swimming was just a recreational thing, well, just jump in the pool and see if you can keep up. came to swimming for the first time, you'd notice that the teams were competitive. You really want to win. You get really into it and the atmosphere gets like really exciting and everybody cheers. Watching the foot turns and the streamline and the intensity that at the speed they're going at and the finish. Usually, you know, sometimes it comes down to like that point zero one second and you know, that's how intense it gets. Very organized, be very organized. You see a lot of sportsmanship between the teams. The crowd goes crazy for you. There's a lot of cheering, very loud. Great atmosphere for the team. There's a wide variety of races with all the strokes, the butterfly, the backstroke, the breaststroke, the freestyle. The events kind of run based on distance, of course. For instance, the 50 meter of freestyle, which is two lengths of the pool, the 100 meters, which is four lengths of the pool, 200 meters, which is eight lengths of the pool, and 500 meters, which is 20 lengths of the pool. There, there's a certain amount of points given to the places. So if you win an individual event, you'll, you get four points. The second place gets three points, and third place gets one point. Point-wise, it's the relays that really make it matter, because first place in a relay is six points, and second and third is three and one. So if you win a relay, you get two more points than the other team. And diving is just like an individual swimming event. Four points for the first place, uh, three for the second place, and one point for third place. Uh, a lot of people think it's, it's easy to just swim a couple laps. No, swimming is probably the hardest sport out there. It takes a lot of effort. Not just physical effort, but a lot of mental effort. It might not be a contact sport, but you could get hurt. If you cramp up, you have to know how to work through that. You can't just stop. Like uh, another basketball, you get a substitute. You can't, nobody can sub in for you halfway through an event. You have to finish the entire event. And uh, unfortunately, not that many people understand that. I think people just think that we splash around and, we, and it's not that serious, but it's a really intense sport. People underestimate the sport, they think, oh, like, you know, you just learn how to swim. Just because you can stay afloat means you know how to do it. But there's a whole lot more going into a practice. And then an the even bigger step to, be, to compete. Of course, for any sport to be popular, some athlete, famous athlete, has to motivate other swimmers and get their attention into it. And Michael Phelps' recent victory in the 2008 Olympics has been motivation for many swimmers. I think he helped inspire a lot of kids, younger kids. You know, by seeing him and knowing that swimming was something that you could do and go to the Olympics and, and be a big star like Michael Phelps. For the past three years, I believe, we've been going at it trying to fight for the city championship title. So when it's a really big rivalry like between us and Fort Hamilton, a lot of supporters come from both schools and the atmosphere is very pumped up. Everyone's cheering for every single race. Rivalry is always great, man. It keeps the game competitive. When we face Brooklyn Tech, I guess everybody thinks that we don't like to face Brooklyn Tech, but we love person Brooklyn Tech. They're, they're our rivals. It's really exciting. Outside the pool, we're actually pretty good friends. Like, we know each other, we're friends. We ask, oh, how are you doing? But then when we come to the pool, it's just a fight to the win. All our friendship just ends. We've been going back and forth. We've lo we lost to them a couple times. We won a couple times. And whether we win or lose, which we did both this year, and uh, hopefully we've raced them again. But it's a great atmosphere. We love going against Brooklyn Tech. To me, 
there's sort of a rivalry, but there sort of isn't because the captain of Fort Hamilton is blood. He's my cousin. We've, we've both been going head to head though, like all our lives. We're still kind of close, but uh, usually when we see each other at the pool, we go all out against each other. The rivalry makes everything, the whole meet, motivates us completely because we want to be Brooklyn champs as much as they do, and only one of us can win, so we do everything we can, go beyond our limits. It's a rivalry, but it's, it's a classy rivalry because there's no, there's no meanness in it. It's a healthy, competitive thing. This year, this season, we faced additional problems because Ready, we didn't have our go. pool. So at the end of every school day, we had to get on the train, travel, about 20 minutes, a half hour, two, four hours in high school. Brooklyn Tech's pool has been broken down since June. If your pool's not working, it seems to be working out okay with them coming in and us. A lot of times our kids start earlier because we're here at the school. So I get an hour of practice in before their team even gets here. You're not starting practice till almost four whereas we would start practice here at 3. So now you're practicing at 5.30, As a coach, I have to keep that in the back of my head that these, a lot of my students still have to, my athletes have to get on the train and travel another hour and a half just to get home. As for swimming in our rival's pool? Uh, it, was, it was a bit awkward, to tell you the truth, considering our rivalry against each other. But, you know, we still managed to train with them. There wasn't really any problems. But we were watching each other though in the workouts. We definitely kept an eye out for each other. That was also a big deal because you know we we knew that they didn't really want us there. They wanted their whole pool to practice. But at the same time, you have to appreciate the fact that they're letting us use half of their pool to practice. Coming back into our own tech pool feels a little awkward at first because the water feels different, but it's great, you know. Feels great because now. We know this place, we have had good memories here, good races, good meets, and it's not only good for me, but also for the other swimmers, especially the freshmen who haven't been able to swim in this pool, so now they finally get a true feeling of what it's like to be on the Brooklyn Tech swim team. This is the, the, the semi-final rounds of the 12-team playoff series that the PSL hosts for boys and girls. We rank the top 12 teams in the city. The top four teams are meeting up. Fort Hamilton is three, and Brooklyn Tech is two. This is, will be, for this particular season, this is our third time head-to-head. -head. And it's like, they, Fort Hamilton won the first, we, we won the second one, going, which gives us, I think, more of an edge going in, because we got the last one. It's tricky. It's really tricky because being so close and knowing each other and each other's teams after three, four years of swimming together and then sharing a pool most of all season long, it's like the very minute little change makes the difference. The good thing about Brooklyn uh, Brooklyn Tech, we're like equals. It's exciting. You know, you never, you never know you're gonna win or lose. I mean, I'm psyched. I kind of predict what's gonna happen. I kind of wouldn't prefer it any other way. Um, we are rivals and we are friends, but um, they're the team that's really going to push us forward and they're going to push forward too. So they're really going to come hard towards us and they can expect the same from us. So it's really going to be a competitive, exciting meet and I kind of look forward to it. Obviously I'm disappointed because uh, we did lose. You can't be disappointed in their performance. Uh, you watch that last relay, you're not going to watch a better relay I mean, they put everything into it. We had to win the relays. So we won all three relays, and that would put us six points ahead. And then Thomas beat us in one, one event, so we had to give him back two points. So there's your four-point difference. You know, I have nothing but respect for, my, you know, for them, because it's just so, so hard to beat. I'm just kind of happy to go to the championships. We have a little bit of a game plan, but we'll wait and see. My whole team got so much better at the end of the year. So I'm really proud of all of Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.